do this. Let's do the hand joust. So this, remember, with this lead leg kicks, if you're doing it traditional style, Taekwondo karate style, it's back foot replaces front, front replaces back, we get out, right? It's just like a, a pepper kick. Well, that's the same thing on any lead leg. That could be a side kick. That could be a hook kick. It's the same in and out motion, right? So now we're just going to hand joust here. So we're going to hand joust. We're going to say we were jabbing. We were jabbing. When I start jabbing, maybe he shells up. So then I slide the side kick underneath. The good part about if you're the orthodox fighter and they're the south pole, it, so some things, some moves favor the south pole, some moves favor the orthodox. This favors the orthodox because his liver is on the right side, right in the front. So if I hit him with the heel, that could be that could be night over, right? Um, the, now when he goes rear leg round kick, when we do round kick, that favors him because my liver's on this side. So there's disadvantages and advantages. This favors the orthodox guy. We're here hand jousting. Maybe I'm here. I'm pushing in. Jab once. Return, jab twice. Here, you as you step, back leg steps, kick, have an exit strategy. Here, hand joust, jab, jab, side kick. Jab, jab, still stepping inside. Jab, and then side. Go ahead, 20 minutes. 